if you come to Thailand and you're not happy, then that's on you. I like the person I become when I'm in Thailand. What is one thing you didn't particularly like in America? This will be so controversial. Hey guys, we are in Bencha City Park right now. I am here with Joyce. This is a fellow YouTuber. Would you like to go ahead and introduce yourself? My name is Joyce and I'm a Chinese American living in Bangkok, Thailand. I am 24 years old right now. So this is Paul. He's my pee. People. I'm your people. So you're born from America, right? Yeah, born and raised in the U.S. But I moved here like the end of May in this year. Why did you move all the way here to Thailand? And why have you still since been here? So I always tell people, whenever people ask me why I chose Thailand or why I'm here, it's because I like the person I become when I'm in Thailand. Who is that person you're becoming? More chill, more laid back, because I used to take things seriously, and I'm quite aggressive. But coming here, everything is just chill. Like, you just, like, you ride a motorbike, ugh, it's just chill. Yeah. That's how we both got here. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Uh, aggressive as in, like, very serious, very competitive? Is that what you mean by aggressive? Mm, I think I take things too seriously. But I think a lot of times in life, it's just chill. It's not that serious. I think Thailand taught me to not be that serious, in a, in a good way. Some things are still serious, like love, I'm serious. But if it's just like life, I just chill. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, do you ever see yourself like moving back to the United States? I, I can, but if I am able to, I would want to live in Thailand for longer, legally, of course. But U.S. Um, I think the only reason why I want to go back is to visit my fam because they're in the U.S. still. Yeah. And I kind of miss snow because the oh, place yeah. that I live, it, it snows in the winter. Yeah. But right now it's November, mid-November. Yeah. I do not see any snow. Yeah, it's and very hot. You know, the day I came here, it was summer and it's still summer. Yeah, it's Six always summer. Six months later, it's yeah. summer 365 days. What are the things that you absolutely love about Thailand that maybe you didn't get so much in the United States? I came from the Midwest. There wasn't much to do to begin with. But coming to Bangkok, Bangkok is like a really international city. There's so much to do to eat. And let's say you are you miss hamburger. You can get pretty decent hamburger, but they're at U.S. price. Um, yeah. So you came here because of the hamburgers? No! <laughs> it's because of the vibe. Like, I don't... Like, I feel really good i feel really happy in thailand and if you come to thailand and you're not happy then that's on you that's on you yeah, yeah like yeah. i don't really hear people saying that they come to thailand and they're not happy is there anything that you might not like about thailand i can't really think of anything except for like pollution mm. or flooding or when you cross the roads it's kind of dangerous but i think that's also part of thailand the crossing the street and you feel like your life is about to end i see it's like kind of on edge or like kind of yeah. not too regulated, but that's also what makes it chill Hi. in Thailand. Yeah. Yeah. When I first met you, I had no idea that you're like from the United States. Like mm -hmm. I thought you were a Thai local here. A lot um, of people think I look Thai Chinese. Thai Chinese. Yeah. See. But and you know that all the staff at 7-Eleven or restaurants, they speak to me in Thai. Yeah. And I don't know you how look kind of Thai. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know how to respond because I'm just like, uh, kha. It's just like, chai, kha. Chai. Chai. Or, and then they start speaking to me like deeper. So then I'm like, uh, put pasta Thai my gang. Oh, put Thai Dai my. Put Thai Dai na. Nenon. Lokuna kun put Thai Dai my. To be honest, I didn't understand what you said. <laughs> is my Thai bad or. I said Nenon. Nenon is Nenon. It's like, of course. Of course I can speak Thai. Nenon, pum put Thai Dai. Yeah. I can speak a little bit, yeah. Uh huh. Uh, how long did it take you to learn Thai? I started watching Thai series in 2020 and I slowly just pick up the words but now I'm learning it more seriously so 2023 is when I started learning more seriously is that one of the reasons why you came to Thailand because like the you're series. like the series yeah a lot of people thought I came to Thailand because of BL you know like the boys the boys love boys love yeah when two cute guys fall in love and then oh it's like a gay uh romance thing yeah oh okay I've never heard of it, I guess. Hey? Uh, I can tell you more about it. I'll give you recommendations if you've I think I'll read it. That's, okay. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why, but it's not the main reason. But a lot of people think that, oh, that is the only reason. Mm. 
But I do feel really homey when I see the actors on the posters, on the advertisement. I feel like, whoa, it reminds me of when I'm watching their series at my home in the US, like in my bedroom, by myself, on my laptop. And my favorite actor or couple, on screen couple, is Bukin and PP. So, uh, Okay. Yeah. I have no idea who that is, but it's fine. Uh, Do you listen to Thai song? The person, well, I don't know what that song is. And sing it all. <laughs> you have to insert it so that people know what the song you're saying. Or you probably like Kid Damaytang. Kid, Kid Damaytang. Kid. What is one thing you didn't particularly like in America when you were living there? This will be so controversial. It's good. No, I, I have a lot I don't like about it as well. So it's... so I the town I came from a small town. It has like six thousand people, and it was all white, and we're like the only Asian family. And there was a part of me that felt like they were racist to us. They didn't say it in our face, but you just feel different. But coming here, even though I'm Chinese American, and maybe I do look a bit Thai, but like all the Thais are really friendly. Like they're really accepting and welcoming. So even though I'm not Thai, I feel like I'm part of Thailand or part of Bangkok. So you think that even though you're a foreigner here, everybody just accepts you for who you are and you know, you're not like judged or discriminated or like seen as different? Yeah. Did you go to university in, cult in uh, America? I did. Yeah. I got a, a bachelor's in marketing, but I graduated like three years ago already. So in this three years, I'll, I'm just doing my own thing. Uh, how did you like university? Like, did you live the stereotypical American uh, college life where that includes like going out to parties or like frat or sororities I didn't or like party? I'm not a party person, and I went to uni, but I commuted, so I actually stayed at home. Oh, I see. Yeah, so I saved money on a dorm. And I think my degree total costed 10,000 US dollar because wow. I did like grants or FAFSA um, and my uni was in state so it was quite affordable overall. I see. So most of your life before coming to Thailand was pretty much lived in like the suburbs or like very small town. Yeah. So like coming to Bangkok, it's like first time you ever experienced like a big city and like metropolis. It's like, it's like New York big city experience but at Thailand price which is affordable, especially coming from the U.S., I think it's affordable or acceptable. I see. Do you think that's one of the main reasons you came to Thailand? It's just like to access that big city, urban life, but it's also quite affordable. Yeah. You basically summarized my life for the past five months. Yeah, it's the same same for me. Like, that's the main reason I came. And yeah. I feel like it's, it's going to be controversial again, but I think it's low-key better. What's than better? New York life or LA life, like Bangkok. Yeah, I don't think that's yeah. controversial. I think oh. most people would agree, like, if you look at the politics okay. in the yeah. West, yeah. like, people yeah. just... Or the crime. Yeah, the crime, inflation, it's very, like, sensitive, you know, very triggered. And Thailand, you don't see much of I that. I noticed that, like, Americans are easily triggered in general. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Why do you think that is? I think it's because of the news. Like, I think a lot of it has to do with like politics, and it's like even though we don't think the same way, it's like we have to be enemies. Like, but it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. Yeah. So, do you see yourself living here in Thailand for you said long term, right? So, pretty much. I want to be here as long as possible legally. Um, but I can see myself living here for the next two or three years. I don't know about further, like five or ten years. But I want my like 20s to be in Thailand and I see myself here. I can see myself in Thailand, but I can't really imagine myself in other countries. After... But I must say that like Thailand has a lot of pretty girls. Like when I went to Hong Kong, I felt like a nine. But when I came to Thailand, I feel like a five. Oh, I see. <laughs> Hong Kong doesn't have that many girls? So... I'm not saying that. Oh, I see. But you can think what you think. Thailand took on Suemak. Suemak like. Yeah, Chichi. like even like a normal person, a normal girl. Oh my god, I, I think they're really pretty. But of course, like beauty is subjective. But in my opinion, as a girl, I feel like, whoa, yeah, I'm kind of self-conscious. Like, like kind of look back like, wow. <laughs> like, dang, I need to work on myself a little bit. And I also found you because I noticed you did content on Instagram and YouTube. 
And uh, what made you just like pick up the camera and start making content in Thailand? Mm, I'm usually by myself, to be honest. I don't really have friends. And I actually wanted to make like YouTube since I was in middle school. I like the idea of being a digital nomad, but the one thing that I'm interested in is video stuff. Uh, but picking up the camera, I think it's more about speaking out my thoughts without people judging. Of course, like once I exit, once I post a video, someone might judge, but I don't read comments anymore. I read some, but I try not to read that much comment because I don't want it to affect who I am or how I act. I think I feel more comfortable when I talk to a camera than a person. And if I'm with someone, I can only do one-on-one. -on -one. I can't do group. If I'm in a group setting, I'm quiet. I don't talk. Yeah. Actually, that's kind of similar to me. Like I recently found out that you're INTJ. And for those of you guys watching, I'm also INTJ. So it feels weird, like two INTJ in one frame. The reason why I wanted to also like pick up the camera and start recording is like, I feel like as an INTJ, I might have a lot of deep analytical thoughts about one particular topic. It's like the camera allows me to just like, just spill out what I'm thinking or like, you know, what I want to share as, as opposed to like, if I didn't record it, I'd have to speak these things, but I guess that's limiting. You kind of want someone to listen to. To be honest, this sounds bad, but I don't have friends and I don't really want that many friends. But if you're my friend, I would want to hang out with you more or I want to talk to you more. But I'd rather have be by myself than be with anyone. And it's an attachment thing because I think I get attached. So I'd rather not have any attachment or to begin with. But it's also about letting go. That's why coming to Thailand, I feel more chill and I feel more like, ah, just let go. Just yeah, it's like people here in Thailand, no one's going to judge you or not like we don't have these crazy high expectations of everybody, you know. Um, I think if you were to live in like the West or like maybe even Hong Kong or something like it's like very high, high pressure or mm -hmm. high standards, something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you been to Hong Kong? No, actually, I've never been. Like Hong Kong people are super judgy. Really? Yeah. Is it like super like like girls expect the guy to be rich or like some? I think it's more like they just like to judge people's appearance. Like whether you're pretty or not, they judge. They have to comment something like, "Oh, your hair is long. Oh, your hair is short. Oh, you got pimples." And I hate when someone comments on your face because you can't really do anything about it. Yeah, uh, yeah it takes time. It's not like you can change overnight. Korea is kind of like that too. Like I would hang out with my mom's friends and then my mom's friends would literally tell her, oh, you got fat. <laughs> yeah, it's you know, kind of like, like that too. Yeah, in very in your face. like. Yeah, and with Thailand, I feel like they might judge you, but they're not actually judging you. They just like observe and okay. It's not a big deal. They're not actually like laughing at you. Yeah. Like, and even if they laugh at you, it's just because they think that that thing is funny. They're not actually laughing at you. I feel like in the U.S., they, people actually like laugh at you and make fun of you. Yeah. For example, like in Thailand, they will say like you're Owan or like they're yeah. kind of fat or something like that. And then they'll have like names of like shops as in like fat plus clothing or cute fat, you know, like some store name. Like but cute it's still name. cute. But it's cute. Yeah, there's no bad intention. Mm -hmm. I'm about to end the video. Is there anything you want to like? I feel honored to be on your channel because yeah, I yeah. watch your videos Man. before you blew up. I'm honored. Yeah, eight eight months ago, she was one of the first viewers, and that's crazy. I really, Here we at are. That time, I don't remember yourself, but I maybe it was like one or two thousand. I'm not sure because I didn't follow you or stalk you that deeply. But then I recently discovered Very you deeply. again. <laughs> I'll include Joyce's channel in the description and I'll include her Instagram. Make sure to check out her content. Thank you for being on the channel. Yay. Yep. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.